Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. This set of reviews are going to be on the new Gaming Greats uh, Black Series special figures that are exclusive to GameStop in the US, um, EB Games in Canada, and Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. Um, haven't heard whether the UK has got an exclusive at all, so I'm not sure. Uh, if you can inform me, let me know in the comments and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look there, there might be someone who lets you know. Um, so we're going to be starting off with Jedi Revan. Now for the most part, he's a repaint with some uh, different soft goods. Great looking figure. I'm loving like the colour details on the box that they've been able to give these figures. Um, and from all accounts, Gregory Titus that does the art, he was very happy to finally add some colour into um, into these figures. So nice purple sheen at the front. We've got the gaming grates and the sticker on the front. And my light's a little bit funny. Little right up on the back, if you care to pause and read. So there he is in the box. Without further ado, let's open him up and have a look. All right, here is Jedi Knight Revan, which I did forget to mention that on the box, they have, uh, they have him listed as coming from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, um, which is a mobile phone game. Um, I don't know, they should have put the Knights of the Old Republic um, logo on there. I think that would have <laughs> would have been a little bit more ideal. Um, no, whatever, they put the figure out, that's good enough for me. Um, I don't play Galaxy of Heroes, I don't play mobile phone game apps, that's for sure. Um, this is a nice looking figure. Excuse my dog in the background if you can hear him. Hopefully the camera's not picking that up too much. He's uh, just playing on his bed next to me. But still, really nice figure. Um, he did come with this lightsaber. The Darth Revan came with this lightsaber. So we do have a repack of that. Uh, pretty much, I think this is a retool. This might even be a re, just a repaint of the hood. I can't remember it draping back like that. But he did have the uh, more cape and soft goods under it as well. So again, I could be could be misled there. I didn't actually look at it before I uh, dug dug into this one. So, but really nice to have this version of Revan as well. Um, hopefully, he gets a counterpart in other. Um, oh, I'd like Darth Malak to go with the Darth Revan, but maybe a Bastila Shan to go with this one would be uh, would be really cool. Um, but overall he looks great. It's a nice, just a nice looking figure. Um, I just love the bronze plating and stuff. That paintwork looks really, really nice. Uh, same way around the, the sort of the gauntlets on the arms and the hands, uh, that sort of hand armor. Nice sort of weathering on that around there. He looks cool. I like it a lot. Seen a lot of people get some really good, really good shots of this one uh, out and about on the on Instagram and stuff. So, yeah, in terms of articulation, he's got a ball hinged neck, ball hinged neck. Uh, sorry, ball hinged head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, a torso joint which allows for a lot of movement, ball joints in the hips, swivels in the thighs. Yep, double joints in the knees. And ball hinge in the ankles. And I like that they've added the uh, knee pads and shin guards to the bottom of the figure there. It looks really good. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for the heavy battle droid. He'll be up next. Until then, may the force be with you.